the duct tape is, is uh, alerted me more than anything because of the fact we were getting information that the one of the victims or a couple of the victims did in fact have duct tape over their mouth. The killer uses the dead man's name when he goes to claim the ATV. Yeah, let's rock Yeah. Phoenix Police Department detectives, you're under arrest. What'd they do? The gunman, who had no previous arrest, was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to 50 years to life with no parole. That means everything to me, that we did something to give them, as they call the power of a wish, that, and through the grace of God and modern medicine, obviously, it made them survive that life-threatening illness. He's a father figure, he's a teacher, he's a mentor, he's a, he's a little bit of everything, but more importantly, he's an example for other people to follow. Frank Sanguin. One person I want to make sure I had access to was the one and only Frank Shankwitz. Now, those of you who don't know his name, you do know the industry he started. Put your hands together for the founder of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Frank Shankwitz. Come on up, Frank. Thank you.